morning, all. Yes, he's so cute. Hello. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir. I will be singing. How do I know? You're amazing. I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And Yep. <laughs> out of interest, how many, are, how many roughly new artists get signed in Nashville per year, do you think? It's not very many. It's not, is it? So you think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. the Beatles did too. And I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. <laughs> and you have a lot of people behind us to tell if you're any good or not. They know a lot more than record companies do. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We always say three minutes, hopefully, will change your life. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ready, boys? Staying too long at the honky tonk, spending too much just to tie one on. Little less right and a lot more on. Sounds like something I do. Calling in sick when the fish are biting, taking those curves with the gravel flying, keeping one eye on the next horizon. Sounds like something I do. I never had. And later maybe getting one kiss and going half crazy Sounds like something I do I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want-tos I ain't the kind of settle down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger But if I had you, baby, sounds like something Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's an original, right? Uh, yes, sir, it is. I think that song's a hit. Thank you. And I think that you're a hit. You're like the new Elvis of country. I think you're going to break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love it. I also love that you guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season, so I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. The perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. Sometimes when we get bands on the show, for whatever reason, it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts. With you, it was the opposite. I think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing, because people are going to like you. The song uh, was really, really good as well. It was really authentic. That's what I liked about it. 
because um, I know so much about country music. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song, and everything worked everything. for you today, and you're very likeable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. <laughs> they are. They are. OK. Right, we're going to vote. Howie? Yes. Four yeses, congratulations. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Yeah. He's a star, yes. and that song is going to be a hit. I bet they're going to go to the finale. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Uh, my name's Trent. I'm 30 years old. I'm uh, from Hillsboro, Oregon. It's close to Portland, Oregon. Trent, what do you do for a living? I'm a firefighter. We love firefighters. Why did you not wear your firefighter outfit? It might, might be a little frowned upon in the firefighting community to oh, wear Oh, yeah, it. I forgot. So. <laughs> this um, is not like a singing telegram for yeah. your birthday. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you. Um, I, I used to be married. Did you do something bad? I think we were immature. I think we both made a lot of mistakes, but I don't think getting married to her was one of them. Aww. Aww. You want her back? Yeah, yesterday, yeah. I'm still in love with her, um, and I, I, um, I'm actually gonna be singing a song about her tonight. She does, yes. She already knows, and she's praying for me all back at home. Oh, let's call her. Do you have a phone in your pocket? Let me, I'll go grab it. I hid it under a curtain because I. I mean, up close, even even me, more handsome up let me, close. Let me grab the. Phone. One sec. Okay, he's getting his phone. Does that attract a woman to come back if Heidi Klum is calling her? That... What's her name? Okay. Okay. Yeah. You guys have to be quiet. Oh, man. Yeah. Next to this handsome firefighter. I mean, I'm looking at him up close. I mean, how can you pass that up? Faith, we really love you. We're gonna play a song for you. Go I'm gonna on take it. you with me right now, Faith. All right, you sing your song. I'm gonna talk to Faith in the meantime. Faith, you wanna talk to Faith too? Okay, I'm gonna put you right here so you can also watch. Very good. <laughs> Trent, my fingers are crossed, toes are crossed, everything is crossed for you. Okay, thank you. And you say this is a song for her? I wrote it about her, yes. Okay. Aww. It's called Always and Lately. Can't wait, it's insane 
Trent, he sounded amazing. You did sound amazing. Uh, I think you're so handsome and so lovely. You have the best smile and a beautiful voice. I loved it. Thank you. Thank it was you. great. It was heartfelt. Your voice is amazing. You look amazing. It was the perfect audition. Thank you very much. Thank you. I thought that was uh, very brave, actually. Uh, I mean, to tell us all of that, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> I seriously wouldn't. But you know what? People, I think, are going to like you, and I think you've got a really, really good voice. This is one of those auditions people are certainly going to talk about. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, this meant a lot to you, and we felt that it meant a lot. You could feel the emotion in your voice, and I could tell just by looking at her and seeing how she's reacting to it, that was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, yes, it was beautiful. We're gonna vote. Trent, I'm gonna give you a big first. Thank you. Thank you. You have two yeses. Come here, man. Yeah. First of all, listen. Absolutely beautiful song. Thank you. She was emotional. Could you see that? Yes. She was smiling, and you could see a yes. tear. Thank, Thank you so much, man. Good luck to both of you. I'm very well, how are you? Very good. What's your name? Justin Rhodes. Justin. What will you be doing for us today? I will be singing Wake Me Up by Avicii. Ooh, I like that. Nice. I like that song a lot. And are you here by yourself today or you have anyone supporting you today? My dad's here today. Hi, Dad. <laughs> this is your fan group, they're always trouble with you? No, my dad has uh, never really seen me perform as an adult. This is the first time he's seen me on a stage. Aww. Why, why has your father never seen you perform before? That sounds strange to me. Uh, I live in Florida now, and he lives up in Buffalo, and uh, it's getting a little harder for him to get around. Well, enjoy this moment. Thank you very much. Have fun. I love that song. Feel my way through the darkness. Guided by a 
beating heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start So hit me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself But I didn't know I was gone I tried carrying the weight of the world But I'm only just one man Hope I get the chance to travel the world Listening to your voice, you took me on your journey. I really, really liked it. I think you're very special. Your voice has a certain tone to it. It's sexy. You're sexy, and you're pitch perfect. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Yeah, she, see, she's hot too. Okay. She's hot. Yeah. And these two will take you home. Believe me. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, I agree with the other judges. I think you have a beautiful tone to your voice. You know, you are able to come out here and convey something through your song. And I'd love to hear more from you. Howie, what did you think? I'll tell you what I thought. You know, I'm a comedian and I'm a husband. But first and foremost, I'm a father. And you said that your father's having a tough time right now getting around. And it's a miracle that he can be here and witness his son's life blossom in front of America. You did something right, sir. And you should be very proud. And what a, you know, I'm a little choked up to watch this, but you did phenomenal. And I'm proud of you, and you're not my son. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's vote. For me, it's a yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a very exuberant yes. Oh, it's a definite yes. Howie. You know you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for your father. What do you think he would say? I don't know. What does he say? What do you say, sir? Yes. So very and poignant, really wonderful. Really nice, nice to look at, too. Nice to look at. Like, really nice to look at. Where are you guys from? We were all three born in Australia. Oh. The ladies like these guys. So how did you guys get into performing? Well, our father, he taught us. We all have been a part of it. It's like a family act. Well, go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Wow factor, you delivered the wow. <laughs> you are so talented, so, so, so talented. Thank you. Simon? The minute you walked on, you have this star presence about you. And you tick every single box. I am so excited that you came on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much. Howie. First of all, uh, amazing strength. This show is about variety. I'm always excited when I see something that I haven't seen before. You did an amazing job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, let's take it to a vote. Simon? Uh, I would love to be the first person to say yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Julia? It's a yes from me. Holly? Three yeses. Yes. Thank you. Four Thank you. yeses. We yeah, want to say that's you. also like a dream for us come true because we love Terry. Woo! Terry? We need Terry for this. Terry! Thing. Terry! How's it going? Very well, thank you. Do you want to tell us what your name is, please? Uh, yeah, Tom London. And Tom, how old are you? I'm 25. And what are you going to be doing today? I'm a magician. And what's been or who's been your, your main inspiration, Tom? It's been my dad. My whole life, I've just grown up wanting to be like him. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm about to try and do. I presume if you did well on the show, then Vegas would be the... It's always been my dream to create the best magic show Vegas has ever seen, that the people would travel from around the world to go and see. Good luck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to try and do something that's never been done before. Can all of you take out your mobile phones? And I want you to just hold them up in the air. Can you all do that for me? Judges, I'd like to stand up and have a look at the, the audience. Oh my God. That's crazy. How are you doing that? In today's world, we're all connected through our cell phones. But what I want to show you is that we're actually all connected on a far deeper level. Simon, you'll notice that a few of the devices are still red. Yeah. I want you just to choose three of them to come and join me on stage. Pick the one that's all the way in the end. You, please. In the red. Yeah. And you. Come on. Tara, can you bring your phone as well? Can you just unlock the phone and open the calculator? Okay, that's okay. great. Okay, here's what I want to do. So I want you to try and guess for me, how many number one selling artists do you think Simon Cowell has had on its record label? 53. 53. Tara, could you just type in 
53. 53. Yeah. All right, I'm just jumping in now. Go for 53. it. And then secondly, how many millions of records do you think Mel, when she performed the Spice Girls, sold worldwide? Just go for it, millions. 102. 102. Tara, can you hit multiply? Times. Yeah, and then 102. 102. Okay. Okay, and next up, I want you to try and guess what year Heidi began modeling. Oh, oh it's a hard one. Not, sorry, I'm so bad at math. <laughs> 1970. Nope, 1980. Not when I was born. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> 1987? 87, okay. Tara, can you hit multiplied? Okay. And then just 87? 87. Wonderful. Okay, and then here's what we're going to do. Um, hit the plus sign. Plus. Fantastic. Now, a little buddy told me, Harry, that you've had a lot of girlfriends. Um, but instead of just guessing, Tyra, what I want you to do is I want you to have your thumbs over the numbers. Thumbs over yeah. numbers. Now, I want you to make a random guess. I want you to close your eyes and just hit maybe like seven or eight numbers. Go One, for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. Hit equals. Equals. Okay, sweet. Now, I just want you to read that number out for me. Is that okay? Okay, ready? Go for it. 73 million. Okay, 73 million. 928,000. 928,000. 547. 547. Wonderful, guys. Give a round of applause for these three volunteers. Thank you. And for Tara Banks, please take a seat. Thank you. It's not over yet, is take it? Take a seat, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so we've got this random number here, but there's something bigger going on. There's something impossible. There's something magical. I want you guys to see this. I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard. It's a few hours until my audition. This number, 73,928,547. Does this mean anything to you? Thank you. What? But wait, but wait. Do you remember at the start, I said that we're all connected on a far, far deeper level? Yeah. Well, Simon, I think you'll find that you've actually had 47 number one selling artists. And Mel, you sold 85 million records with the Spice yes. Girls. Heidi, you started your career in 1992 when you won That's Models right. 92. And Howie, you and I both know that you've not had 73 girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> But that's because you married your high school sweetheart. And you've been married to her for 37 years. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, who are you? Thomas Day. I am a junior in high school in Brentwood, Tennessee. Are you good at school? Yeah. What's your favorite subject? Football. Football. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you pursuing that? Are you looking to the NFL? I'm getting recruited right now, yes, sir. Really? Okay. Wow. With that. Amazing. So, what will you be doing for us today? I will be singing for you. Oh. Okay, I didn't guess that. What song will you be singing? Break My Heart Again by Phineas. And why that song? You know, it comes from, like, a really emotional part of my heart that I don't like to expose. But the only way I can't expose it is with this song. Aww. Good luck to you. Hey, I'm just now leaving. Can I come around later on this evening? Or do you need time, yes, of course, that's fine. So go ahead and break my heart again. Leave me wondering why the hell I ever let you in. Are you the definition of insanity? Kissed me half, 
A guy like you that is into sports is also into your music. And I imagine it's very different from what your other teammates do. So for you to explore that sensibility, it's amazing. I loved it. Thank you so much. Howie, what did you think? You have a, a great charisma. I think you got great tone in your voice. But were you nervous? A little bit. Yeah, I just think that this looked a little nervous and stiff to me. Leave my heart stays empty for they don't have to agree. Um, hey, I love a young man is not afraid to sing a schmaltzy song. So I'm going to start the voting with your first yes. Thank you so much. Howie. For this year, at this point, I'm saying no. Sophia, what did you think? I loved it. I give you your second yes. Thank you. Simon. I think it was a really, really good first audition. Judging by the reaction in the room, I think the same thing will be people watching at home. They're going to want you to do well in this competition, Thomas. But. We see a lot of singers who come out here where I'm genuinely struggling, going, well, where do you go from this? The story of my life, I take her home. I drive all night to keep her warm and time. It's But there are so many songs I could hear you reinterpreting. So you've got your third yes. Hi. What's your name? My name is Damien. What are you going to be doing here tonight? We have a dangerous act that I want to show you to guys. How long have you been doing this? This one is the second one. Oh. So you've oh only done it gosh. once. Oh my God. And this is a very dangerous escape act. Yes. Yeah. Why? What could happen? He could die. Yes. You're being serious? It's serious. I will be locked up from ankles, wrists, and neck with only fragile cover above me. I have two minutes to escape before 900 pounds of sand above that cross the cover and buried me alive. So And you believe it's worth risking your life for this? For America Got Talent, yes. Do you have a family? My wife is watching from the side and probably she's not gonna look because you're always afraid about everything. Yeah, they, that's okay. Hi. Your wife is very beautiful. Thank Do you, you have children? No, but hopefully after this, I'm going to start a family with my wife. Are you ready to start a family? Yes. <laughs> Finger crossed. Everybody. Oh my gosh. Good luck. Thank you. I think sand could be worse than water.
so nice to meet you. What is your name? Hi, I'm Donovan Diaz. <laughs> Donovan, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. How old are you? I just turned 26 days ago. Ooh, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. So what are you doing here tonight? I'm gonna be dancing for you today. Wow. Yeah. How long you been a dancer? I started dancing when I was little, like four or five years old, until I was 13. I wanted to be a full-time gymnast for college, and I did that. But when I was 18, I, in my senior year in high school, I was like, I need a scholarship for college because money was a little tight. So I started dancing again, and something clicked that it made sense, and I realized that's what I really want to do with my life. Who else is here with you? Did you come along with a friend? I'm with my little sister. She's somewhere around here. Right there, right there. Oh, there she is. Now she's over there. There she is. <laughs> Hey, sis. And how close are you with your family? I'm very close. Uh, they're actually the main reason I'm here today. My mom, actually, she's battling breast cancer. Um, it's okay. Um, she's had it since I was two years old, and I'm here because I want her to be like, that's my son, he's doing something great. I want her to see me here and say, I raised a star, you know? Well, I'm so glad that you picked AGT. <laughs> so go ahead, good luck tonight. Early morning There's a message on my phone It's my mother saying Darling, please come home I fear the words wow. How could you leave us all behind? There's so much to say But there's so little time So how do I say goodbye? Someone who's been with for my whole damn life You gave me my name and the color of your eyes See your face when I look at mine So how do I, how do I, how do I say goodbye? And there's no way you could ever let me down Gonna steal some time and start again be my closest friend and someday we're gonna make it out just hold the light just hold the light high high so how do i say goodbye to someone who's been with me for my whole damn life you get so proud because this was spectacular. Thank you so much. Howie. See this first girl right here, the tears, right? You were just crying. I was looking at the audience. People had tears. People were crying. People felt the emotion. We weren't just watching it. We were feeling it. It was beautiful. It was ballet. It was modern. It was athletic. It was beautiful, and you have such, like, style about you. I mean, it was incredible. From the minute you walked out of here, you controlled the stage. I love the music. I love the choreography. You are a total star. Thank you. I'm going to give you your first yes. Yes, thank you, thank you. Simon. Uh, you've got your second yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you, too. I'm going to give you a third yes. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Holly. Who are you? What's your name? I'm Collins Key. Collins Key. Collins Key, yeah. How old a guy are you? I'm, I'm 16 years young. 16 years old. What are you yeah. going to be doing for us today? I'm going to be doing actually uh, some close-up magic. To do so, I wish you the best of luck. And awesome. Go ahead. So uh, before I start, I actually got something to make this even more awesome. Be right back. Uh, First time anybody's ever left the stage. Let's see if I got something. Um, yeah, let's should... just go take my popcorn. Yeah, we gotta... yeah. Wow. I'm well, actually gonna steal some of Nick's food. <laughs> right. Bring to you guys. Here we go. Taking my snacks. Hello. So I've got uh, I've got some snack a lackage right there. And now to do this, I need to borrow a dollar bill. So does someone have? No. I didn't. Say, I didn't say it was free. I didn't say it was free. Oh, how he got one. Okay, awesome. Go. Great. Thank you. Everyone here has a unique fingerprint, which basically means that out of all the seven billion people in the world, you are the only person with that fingerprint. Same thing with the bill. Only the serial number acts as the bill's fingerprint. So to do this, actually, uh, Howard, I would love for you to help me out with this. Uh, what I want no. you to do is... I, I hate you... helping. You hate? Yeah, but I'll do it. I'll make, I'll make this easy for you. I want you to just read off that serial number for us. All right, here we go. L-0-8... Seven three zero four three two M as in Mary. All right, awesome. Here we go. Great, thank you. And now, uh, now, Melby, just take that bag for me. Yeah, and just uh, just grab it by the bottom. Just hold it above your head. Now, what I'm about to do. Most people say this is absolutely impossible. I'm going to get this bill to actually teleport from my hand to that bag. Now, to do this, I actually need to use the power. Fire. That's why you take the sealed bag of popcorn and just tear it open. Now open it up. Do you see something inside the bag? Yes! No. Yeah, show, show it to Howard. Show it to Howard. Do you see something inside? Pull it out and actually, yeah. Heidi, what I'd love for you to do is just please read off the serial number on that bill. Let's see if it matches Howie's. Wow. L, L zero, zero eight, eight seven, seven three, three zero four, four three, three, two, three, two, two M as a magic. Wow. Well, come on, let's make some noise. Really good. How do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> All right. You know, when I when I judge an act, I t put a lot of credibility into what this crowd feels and how they react. And that reaction was genuine. You had people up on their feet. Your trick was flawless. You're getting emotional, aren't you? Yeah. This is this really this means so much to me. Yeah. Good for you. You weren't, re you weren't expecting that? No, not at all. Have you suffered a lot of rejection with your act? Yeah. A lot, yeah. Today, you proved something. You got the goods. You've got charisma. You know how to handle yourself. For 16 years old, it's quite remarkable. Thank Good you. for you. I loved it. Thank you so much, Howard. I liked it. I want to see more. I love that you bring snacks. <laughs> I liked you. Thank you so much. Mel? I don't know how you did it, and I want to see you do more stuff. You, my friend, are great. Thank you. Howie. Here's what's uh, amazing to me. I believe at 16 years old, you have just stepped, sir, into your future. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. So here we go. Yes for me. It's a yes. It's a yes. Yes. We are going to see you in Las Vegas. Oh, sweet guy. That means 
the lot there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, good luck. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Melby, would you come up and join me on stage? Is that cool? Yes. Cool, and you can join me. Okay. This way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna try something, right? We're gonna use cards. Okay. Playing cards. I'm just gonna show you a card, right? This is your card, Ace of Hearts. And you guys can all see. I have a pen. I just want you to sign your name across the face of the card, and I'll hold it for you. So you have like a surface to write on. Just, just sign a big it. signature right across it, yep. Excellent. That doesn't come off, that's good. So we're gonna take this card from here that you just signed, and I'm gonna fold it up into quarters, Melby. I'm gonna ask you to do something kind of strange with this card, okay, but I need you to trust me. You're gonna take this card. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna bite you or anything. You're just gonna take this I card. I was worried about that. You're gonna bite down on it like this in your teeth and just leave it there. Okay. Right? So bite down, just keep it there. Perfect. I'm gonna take a card. Four spades. You're very fit, aren't you? I'm gonna take the four spades. I'm gonna do the same thing with the four. I'm gonna take the pen and I'm gonna sign my name on the four. And I'll show you guys once I'm done. You can cap that for me. You guys can all see the card? Yeah? Uh, it doesn't yeah, come I off? I can see it. Yeah. You have binoculars. I'm going to do the same thing, Melby. I'm going to take the four spades, and I'm going to fold it up, and I'm going to bite down on it in my mouth. Now what? In your hands. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hopefully, if I did this right, one card. No this is your card. Look at the card in your mouth. No. That's really good. Good job. Now, would you say that that was like almost our first kiss? Would you say like we almost kissed, right? I came pretty close. I want you to think about your first kiss. I want you to picture their initials. And you're just I don't gonna. I really like this so person I'm gonna, I have my first kiss with, by the way. It's mind. okay. I want you to imagine I'm your first kiss. I'm that person. You're gonna take your fist, since you don't like that person, and you're gonna punch me right in the heart. Right? You're just gonna give me a good punch right to the chest. Really? Yeah. Just go ahead and punch me. How'd you can't? Okay. Ow, that hurt my hand. <laughs> that left an indelible mark on you, that first kiss, right? And it wasn't Ooh, that yeah, pleasant. It wasn't that good. You just left an indelible mark on me when you just punched me. I did. And you were thinking about this person, right? Yes. I want you to say their initials. Right now? Yeah. SM. SM. Okay. Might be a little red. Let's just see. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. Please welcome to the stage the king of the nerds, Don McMillan. Oh, yeah. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6%, is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> So Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! 
I do. I really, really do. I think Imagine that... Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No! Howie! I don't want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Kiss, 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 Hug it out. Kiss, 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 They're going to kiss kiss, on live kiss, TV. Kiss, 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 they were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Oh. You did it. Hi, oh. Howie. Oh. You both did it. They kiss on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> and it Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once, and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours? And do you have more? <laughs> I have two chihuahuas in my life. Oh, one oh. is my son, and the other one oh, was oh. supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. Oh, oh. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. Ah! What's up, Darcy? Hey. I'm looking for a partner, you know? Maybe we can do something. You do ventriloquism? What? Oh, do I? <laughs> Bam! That wasn't even me who said that. Is that a sock? No, it's not. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, T, L, M, K, I, L, M, Come on. You can do better. Why are you being me? You're still moving your mouth. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about nothing. This is never going to work. Awkward. So if you had to be on a desert island for the rest of your life with either me or mummy, who would it be? Why? Why? <laughs> like father, like son. Are you trying to do my job? Are you? What do I do? Ooh. That is my job. Just like your daddy. I think maybe you need a little better choreography. Yeah, I was disappointed, sorry. I always want more parmesan, but I'm in Paris. I always want more parmesan, but I'm in Paris. Beautiful. I what feel the same way. I always lyric. want more Parmesan. Thank I was you. right there. I know, I know. Why I are they so stingy on the Parmesan? Parmesan. What? It's disgusting. What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm even having this conversation yeah. anyway, because I don't like Parmesan. I don't like your song. So I'm saying no. I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't love it. Sophia, it's a no. I don't know what was happening. Wow. Oh my God. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. No. We, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and, most importantly, your importance for the 10 years 
you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take what? a look. Here what? we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. No, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's okay. nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> no. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT, and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. <laughs> Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. <laughs> yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. You feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. It was hard. It really hurt. Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I have it. You want to wow. meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how, how long have you, how long have you been doing? Oh, I've done it for 11, 11 you, years. 11 years. Wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Old. Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. You're moving, I can do this too. He's moving his lips. There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? <laughs> it's different and it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, I'm he's not. a real liar, eh? <laughs> la, 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 the only la, thing la, I'm mad at la, is la, that la, you worked on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, la, you would have won.
fun la, Canada's la, got la, talent. La, 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 you guys la, la, are so fucking good. <laughs> we got another question from Zach, who is a big Mel B fan. What's your question, Zach? Hey, Hi. <laughs> it's, like Hi. His, it's like his first time online. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, young man. He's excited. Thank you so much. Hi, girl power, Melanie. My question is, <laughs> what exactly does off the chain mean? It means that I'm hey, really so excited good. about the act, and I think it's, like, amazing. So I say it's off the chain, as in, like, wowza. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> the definition of off the chain is wowzer. Yeah. You know what I mean? He understands. He gets it. I do. <laughs> Great job, Zach. <laughs> we this word is magic. Did you okay. just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. You heard him tell me the word. That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> Jen, him, They're him, cheating him, 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 because him. they heard you <laughs> cheated. Yes. All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. Million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Snack 